Hi guys, my name is John. I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I'm just making a YouTube video today on building some patio furniture. So I went to the store, bought all the wood, and now I got home and I'm about to cut all the wood down and let's see where it takes us. So here are just some of the drawings that I used to uh, make the, the bench. I printed it off of YouTube off of Anna White's uh, tutorial there. You can just search her name there. And uh, let's get started to cutting some of the wood down. So there you have it, we got 9 boards right here at 72 inches, followed by 13 boards sitting at 25 and a half, followed by 2 boards at 28 and a half. So before assembly, I'm just going to sand down the edges just so we don't get any slivers and here we go. So part two of the project is saying build the frame for the base for the seat cushion. So let's get started with that. Okay, now that I have the basic frame uh, laid out there, I'm just going to start by screwing on the side pieces first. And then the middle pieces will just get divided by the rest of the space there. For the next step, we're going to be assembling the arm slash legs. So we have it laid out on the floor here. Let's see how that goes. It's going to be impossible to screw a screw across here. So what you need to do is you need to, to put two angle screws across here. Too. So you just start off by going straight and then switch it to an angle.
So at this point, the bench is basically done. We're just finishing up with a couple of screws that line up along that beam there. So we have that marked down. So at this stage here, what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to build an L-shaped uh, setup. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to eliminate this whole top piece here. So here I just mocked up the new arm that's not going to actually have an armrest. And then I just gave you guys uh, some quick measurements of what I'm using to just complete that side there. The process is just to uh, apply the paint and then rub it off with uh, a cloth.
you can see that it's a bit, um, a bit solid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a ray and we're just gonna wipe it down just a little bit. And try not to get any drips on this side because when it goes to the other side, you're gonna have a hard time with those drips. So just try not to leave any drips as you're going along. Here what I'm doing is I uh, added some glue and uh, some sawdust into some of the screw holes and now I'm just dying them off just as they are painting. So that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Just wanted to show you guys the final result on the patio sofa project here. Stay tuned for some more projects we're gonna be doing. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.